Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, Loops and Simulations, number four, 10,000 heads. You are ready to increase the number of heads in your simulation is looking for and test your first hypothesis. Congratulations. Before we move up to the full 10,000 heads, however, we're going to perform a quick check of our program logic. When we make changes to our program, it is possible that some portion of our programming logic will stop working as we expected. In order to feel more confident about our model, we will first change the number of heads we are looking for to a number that we can still visually verify, and we're going to use seven heads. If our code still works after making the change, then we should be confident that it will work at 10,000. We will remove the intermediate output and run the full simulation. Ooh, that sounds fun. We have it do this, increase the number of heads you are looking for to seven and visually confirm that the code is still working as you expected. If everything seems to be working, comment out the right command that displays the results of each flip. You can use the dash dash to comment out a single line of code. Make sure that the total count of flips still prints though. Run the simulation and find out how long it takes to get to 10,000 heads. Then run it a few more times. What pattern are you noticing? Record your results and move on. Ooh, this also ties back to our offline assignment so we can look back and we can see how close we were with some of our guesses. And I am sure Mr. Score is gonna be excited to hear all of these results. We really have three things to do in this lesson. One, test our code out at seven. Two, comment some stuff out so it doesn't bog down the program. If we're printing out 10,000 times, that's gonna take a lot of computer power. We're just gonna remove that so we can just focus on their end results. Finally, we wanna run a simulation of 10,000 heads and see how many simulations it takes. Sounds pretty interesting. Let's go down to our num heads here. I know from our last lesson, that this five right here is the number of number of heads that we need to get in order for our while loop to be satisfied. That means I just need to change this five to a seven. I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna count the numbers. So let's hit run. Let's get a little shorter one. Here we go. Total flips is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is correct. Number of heads at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Test it one more time. Two is better. Here we go. Eight flips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number of heads, seven. Ooh, look how lucky that one was. Just one zero, so I know that's seven. Looks like our code's still working. That means we get to go to the exciting part, 10,000. Let's take that seven to our 10,000 number. But before we hit run here, let's just comment out our right. We don't need to see every flip right now. I'm really interested in how many flips it took in order to get to 10,000. And in that case, all we really need here is the SIM number. I'm gonna keep this comment down here. I could probably comment this out too. And let's run it once, see what happens, and then we'll come back and comment it out if we need to. Pretty exciting, let's hit run. Well, this is printing out all the different numbers right here. So it's just keeping track, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all that stuff as we go along after every roll. Let's reset it here. Let's comment this one out as well. That means it should just run and just say total flips and give me the number of simulations it took in order to get to 10,000 heads. I'm gonna bet with my luck, it is just going to be 10,000. Let's see if I'm right. Let's hit run. It took a little over 20,000 flips in order to get to 10,000 heads. Little under 50-50, like a 49-51. Let's try again. Reset run. 
This one we did a little better, probably a 51%, 19,000 flips, 19,500 flips. Run it again, 19,900, 20,000. Seem to be in the range from about 21,000 to 19,000 here. Ooh, that one was almost an even 20,000. Another 20,000, 19,9. Definitely seems like a pattern is emerging here, but I'm pretty satisfied it's working the way it should. Looking back here, we did increase our number to seven first and verified the code is working. We commented out not one, but two write commands in our code, and we ran our simulation multiple times to see how long it took to get to 10,000 heads. And we noticed it really was pretty much between 21,000 and 19,000. Very fun little lesson. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's go ahead and finish and see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.